As of July 8, 2022, St. Lucia has diagnosed a total of 27,254 cases of COVID-19 in country, with 143 active cases. The daily infection rate for the last seven days is 11.4 per 100,000 population per day, with a 20% average testing positivity rate and a transmission rate of 0.91. We have noted a total of 385 COVID-19 deaths. We have five positive COVID-19 cases admitted at the respiratory hospital. This past week, we continue to register cases daily, although we note the general hesitance by the population to testing for the symptomatic and the direct contact of cases. We estimate that the actual number of positive cases to be higher than recorded. Globally, the number of weekly cases continues to increase for the fourth consecutive week. The Omicron variant of concern continues to be the dominant variant circulating. Among Omicron lineages, the proportions of BA5 and BA4 continue to increase. In some countries, the increases have led to surges in hospitalizations, ICU admissions and deaths. COVID-19 vaccination is still expected to provide a substantial protection against severe disease although it is noted that the coverage is lowest with these as compared to the original disease. BA4 and BA5 are the fastest spreading variants reported to date. In an effort to manage COVID-19 cases in country, the Ministry of Health has received 105 vials of the COVID-19 antiviral drug tocilizumab from PAHO. This drug will be used to treat severe cases of COVID-19. St. Lucia has received notification from the Caribbean Public Health Agency of our first confirmed case of BA5. The case is a 36-year-old female from Viewfort who does not have a history of travel. This suggests in-country transmission of BA5 and the presence of other cases. As we continue to note the return to normalcy with the opening up of events and mass crowd activities, we need to ensure that the proven public health measures are in place to prevent us from getting sick and to protect the most vulnerable. The public is reminded that the threat of COVID-19, long COVID and its complications still exists, especially given St. Lucia's low immunization rate. Personal responsibility is extremely important at this time to reduce transmission of infection to ourselves and our family. The public is guided to continue the use of face masks in public, ensure hand washing and proper general sanitization. The public is also advised to use their discretion, ensure that they and their vulnerable family members are fully vaccinated and boosted before attending mass crowd events. The Ministry of Health is closely monitoring the multi-country monkeypox outbreak and has increased its surveillance for early detection and management of cases. From January 1st to July 4th, 2022, 6,027 laboratory confirmed cases and three deaths have been reported. Of concern, is that most of the confirmed cases reported a travel history to countries in Europe and North America. The risk is presently assessed as moderate by WHO, as this is the first time that many monkeypox cases and clusters are reported in non-endemic and endemic countries. St. Lucia has not recorded any cases of monkeypox to date. On Friday, June 24, 2022, the Ministry of Health reported on the alert received from the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention of the contacts of a positive crew member. The contact tracing and self-monitoring of those exposed were carried out. Presently, everyone who has been exposed has been cleared and in good health. The signs and symptoms of monkeypox include rash, fever, enlarged lymph nodes and back pain, and muscle pain. Testing for monkeypox in the region is facilitated through the Caribbean Public Health Agency. Patients with monkeypox are managed for their symptoms like fever and pain. Nutrition and rehydration are particularly important. Some patients may develop severe and life-threatening complications. More information on these diseases of concern at this time will be provided in further updates.